Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Cizo from Cizo Photography and I'm really excited to be back and to bring you this video in collaboration with The Hunter. So I'll be reviewing the The Hunter Film Emulation plugin. So it's quite a powerful plugin. So thanks to the The Hunter team for making this video possible. Okay, so you may be wondering what is this The Hunter? So The Hunter is a film emulation plugin. Um, if you'd like to bring analog to digital age the hunter is that plugin for you so it's packed with a lot of film profiles that you can use some codec profiles as i'll show later on in the video so it can help you take the video your video and make it look like film take it to the next level you know there's a lot of features that it, it has and what i like about it is that it integrates seamlessly to davinci resolve and any other editing software that you might use as i'll show you Without wasting any time, let me show you how this plugin works. I'm going to be using it mainly on some of the weddings that I've done. They are already color graded, so I'll just show you how I can change it look to a different maybe film look that I might like. So let me show you. Let's go. Okay, so as you can see from my screen, I have this clip here which I had already color graded. Let me zoom in a bit. Uh, you see. Uh, it's got a bit of a lot of contrast it's got the wedding look that i like so i thought maybe let me just change it a little bit to show you how you can transform your videos uh, with this dehancer plugin so let's go so i'm gonna head on to my <clears throat> color page and then here is what i've done with dehancer just testing it so if you check here let me just maybe make the screen a bit bigger Yep, so that's the before the clip I the final clip that I submitted to the client. If I were to change it now, this is how it would look. You see subtle differences. It's got a bit of green tint in it, a bit of grain, and the highlights they came out a bit more. So let me maybe forget about this note for now. I'll just create a new one. Add the corrector note here. There it is. So we're gonna focus on that one and then in there, uh, I'm gonna go to my effect and search here for Dehancer. I'm using Dehancer Pro. And by the way, oh, okay, that's not good. So let's disable it for now. Disable everything that's enabled. So most things are now disabled. So I'm just gonna go from top to bottom. I'm gonna skip some of these options because as you can see, Dehancer is quite feature packed. So there's a lot of things you can do to your image. So, okay, um, I'm not going to touch the color wheels here. I had done it before, but yeah. So for the purposes of illustration, I'm going to skip that. So here, the important part is you need to select your source. So in my case, this video is already Rec 709, so I don't need to choose a camera. Um, I can just put it on Rec 709. But if you are shoot short in lock or anything like that, then you can choose. In this case, it could have been canon or sony or whatever it shoots and then select the camera uh, 783 and then whichever um profile you used and then that's what you choose but in my case we're not gonna do that so leave it at rec 709 okay and then the first thing you get here you can correct your exposure uh, so this is the exposure compensation so you, you can drop it a little bit just below 896 which is a good st standard uh, and then temperature, I'm quite happy with this. Um, there is a bit of red, so maybe I can take it a bit to the blue. Here is another important part. This is the film look, the profile that we're going to go for. So this is very important. Um, so in my case, this is a wedding, so I like that dreamy look, you know, warm and in love type of look. So the profile I like here is this Cine Steel 800T. You see, it's similar to the to my profile actually here. So let me enable it. You see, so it took away the the contrast that I had, the bit of the reds. Uh, if you see here, there's a lot of red in her cheeks. Uh, let me just zoom. So here, so if I enable it, you see, it brings it back just a tad and corrects the the image a bit. So this is a look I like. It's got that green tint as well. Push and pull this however you want it to apply uh, that's too much that's too less so in my case i do like it a bit on the point one so i like yeah 
Okay, then the film developer, I don't really use that much. I skip that. And then the compression will just change the highlights a bit there and there. So if you enable it, you see, it just brings down the highlights. If you look at our shirts here, I'm going to enable it. You see what it does. So we're going to leave that on. And then the expand, I'm going to skip because I did apply contrast here. So this just plays with your black and white points to work on the contrast. And then on the film side, Linear pretty much works, but the one I also like is this one, the Codec 283 print. So this is almost like how the film would be printed, the, the almost the final look, yeah. So, and then color head I normally don't use. And then the film grain is another favorite. So in my original film, there wasn't any much grain, especially if you see on, she's spraying for the makeup here. So if I'm at this one using this profile, I think the 35 work as well. See, that's a bit of grain, so you can take it down a tad if you want. And then that's how the film looks now. Uh, so let me fit it and play it, uh, this clip here. So you see, so you see that grain. Now it's becoming a nice look. If you look at the blacks here, they are not so deep, but they're also nice. You know, they got a bit of blue greenish tint to them. So I, I really like that look for weddings. So yeah, um, already this looks good with the Dehancer app just by a click of a button. So that's where that's that's the power of this plugin actually. Halation is just something maybe that you might see a lot in films. Um, it's like some glow in the highlights, you know, they just bring it a bit. So in this case, since I'm not really outside, you might not see that much, but if I put it on, you see here, in her face a bit there is a clock especially in the crown as well the crown might be the best place to see this let me zoom to 200 so and then if i disable it you see how the crown is now it's glowing a bit so that's the halation look uh, you can use the super 35 it works and then next is the bloom profile so if i enable this uh, it's it further intenses the the bright areas so the highlights here and brings it that low as well so you can use the super 35 I pretty much works for most you can use the 70 look it's up to you and film damage is pretty much uh, just damaging your film uh, it, it adds a lot of things there like um, a lot of glitters and and sparkles your hair whatever it is so if I enable it uh, you wanna see here if I play the video somewhere it's gonna can you see there was a sparkle somewhere here on the black side let me do it again you see here all the sparkles there you go that's what the film damage does it's a nice thing especially for instagram type of videos and then yeah the rest is just uh gate weave of a scan i don't really use those much vignetting for those who like it um, you can use that it's gonna add the blacks somewhere there if you increase the um, the size then it becomes bigger and smaller and so on um, but yeah then you can control its exposure in this case I'm fine with the, the film as it is but it's a nice touch as well I would use this so yeah pretty much this image looks good as it is um, I can maybe copy it to my next clip um, just to show you how it look in that clip and if it does apply so let's copy this note so now this is another one outside. Uh, this one's got some clouds here, as you can see, and the bride and groom, they're a bit red, too red. And I did it on purpose. I did correct on the film that I gave them, but yeah. So you see that already matches the other, the other um, clip, which is very important. So the exposure will almost match. You'll just need to do a bit of correction there and there. And now it looks really good, you see. So it's no longer as contrasty, the reds are not as, as too much if you look at her face. So it looks really good. And same, I think with the third clip, I can just disable this one. And then, yeah, I can just copy it directly. So in this one, I might have to do a bit of work because now it's, it's a bit darker, the exposure is not so good. So I can increase that a bit. And yeah, but I really like the grain that the hands are. It does some magic to the grain and it looks really good um, in the final product. 
and then the last one has a lot of green so i don't think i can paste this color oh i can actually and it looks good um so you see even though this one is a lot of green because we're outdoors still it tries to maintain that warm look and it desaturated the greens a bit and it's still a beautiful look so that's how the clip normally looks uh from the guys uh that's the entire film maybe so you see this looks really beautiful um Another thing I like about the Dehenza plugin is that it has a, an app which works for iOS and Android. So as you can see on the screen, here's, here's the video that I exported. So it's just a bride on a 360 photo booth. I'm um, just gonna play the video. So the video looks decent, so, but you can still do a bit more. Depends on what you want. You can select the source, like I said, in my case, it's already RX 709. Choose your film look that you like. Uh, this one is a bit stylish, and then this one. This one does look good, warm like a wedding. So I'll leave this one. Developer skip compression. Uh, I can leave the default. It is enabled. The expand. I think I can skip that. And then here on the profile for the print, you can select the one you want. On the video, we selected this one, but it was too contrasty for this so can keep it at linear and then yeah uh, something i forgot to mention on the source you can adjust your exposures and so on without crushing your highlights temperature however you want it just like i showed you in the video and then put a bit of green there and there so i think i like it at around 2020 i think it should be decent Put a bit of highlighting if you want it, as you did on the other video. You can see on the crown there. So yeah, that's pretty much the app. Quick edits. You save the video. Um, you can choose the quality here. I like to do uh, 24 frames per second. Let's get a bit more quality maybe. And then it's 1080p, which is pretty much the standard for most social media, Instagram, TikTok, and them. So I just confirm and it's going to export the video and I upload it on my social media. Anyway, uh, I think I've shown you just the basics of how this uh, Dehenza plugin works. It's quite powerful. It's quite feature packed. Um, I think it's the next big thing. I'll definitely recommend that you try Dehenza for yourself uh, and see how it is. Now let's get to how you can get this plugin. So here is the good news. Dehenza is offering a special with a 10% discount. If you use the promo code CISO Photography one word, I'm gonna link it here. So you're gonna get 10% off your final purchase. So that is amazing. Do head over to Dehenza and try this plugin for yourself. Here are the prices in the screen as I'm showing it. So this is how much Dehenza costs. There's a lifetime uh, subscription, which is you just buy it once and that's it, or a year subscription or six months, three months and so on, as you can see in the screen. So, I'd recommend you just try it, maybe so I think you won't be disappointed, especially if you're someone who color grades a lot, you're going to benefit a lot from the Dehenza plugin. It saves a lot of time. It will definitely improve your workflow and will free time for you to spend with family to do other things, to be creative, you know, so you don't need to be creating a lot of nodes, thousand nodes to be uh, color grading. That's fun, I know, but um, this can definitely take you to the next level. You can film you can match even the, some of the famous film looks um, through this plugin here so it is quite a powerful addition to your workflow um, yeah and with that said ladies and gentlemen i hope you did get out of this and thank you so much see you on the next one cheers bye